Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Warriors trade pitch lands $146 million six-time All-Star. Are the Warriors and Jimmy Butler destined to come together? The franchise and the star player both entered the 2024-25 season with a lot of uncertainty. While the Warriors, fresh off missing the playoffs, were entering another year closer to the end of 36-year-old Stephen Curry's prime, Butler did not agree to a contract extension with the Heat, putting his future in South Beach in serious jeopardy. As such, Bleacher Report's Andy Bailey believes the time is right for the Warriors to pursue an ambitious trade for Butler, who is expected to decline his $52.4 million option for the 2025-26 season and test-free agency. Warriors would get, Butler Heat would get, Andrew Wiggins, Jonathan Kuminga or Brandon Podziemski, contract fillers working through trades is a lot more complicated under this new collective bargaining agreement. And barring a trade of Draymond Green, in addition to Andrew Wiggins, of course, it's tough for the Golden State Warriors to piece together enough salary to bring in a star like Jimmy Butler, Bailey wrote on October 15. But we're undoubtedly at the tail end of Stephen Curry's window for contending for titles. And the Warriors should be exploring every possibility for extending that timeline. If the Heat stumble out of the 2024-25 gates and start shopping Butler, who again, didn't get an extension this past summer and can enter free agency next summer, Golden State should explore the possibility. While acknowledging that the Warriors could be forced to trade either Kuminga or Podziemski, their two prized young assets, Bailey argued that the franchise owes it to Curry and Green to give them another shot at an NBA title. If the Warriors wound up with Curry, Butler, and Green, they might have one last legitimate shot to get Curry his fifth title. After he brought four to the organization, it owes him that. During the 2024 offseason, the Warriors swung for the fences by exploring trades for Paul George and Laurie Markkinen. In both instances, they were reluctant to trade Kaminga or Podziemski, per several insiders. Bailey's trade pitch notwithstanding, the Warriors were said to have internally explored the idea of engaging Miami on a Butler trade. Jimmy Butler's going to be a free agent next summer, didn't get an extension done, the athletic Sam Amick said on The TK Show on September 12. The Warriors, as you know, have interest there and I think probably, they, made a couple of calls during the summer. Trey Young's utterly impressed reaction to Buddy Heald's Warriors fit. The Golden State Warriors are 6-0 in the preseason after dispatching the Los Angeles Lakers 111-97 on Tuesday. Moses Moody paced the team with 21 points, while Stephen Curry had 16 points. Meanwhile, Draymond Green put up a double-double with 10 points and 10 rebounds. However, while watching the game, Atlanta Hawks guard Trey Young noticed Buddy healed seamless fit as the sixth man for the Warriors. Buddy fits perfectly with the Warriors, the Hawks guard posted on X, formerly Twitter. While it's still preseason, the Warriors seem to be in a good place. They lost Clay Thompson to the Dallas Mavericks and whiffed on Laurie Markkinen, but Stephen Curry did sign a one-year extension. They also filled the gaps by leaning even harder on their jump shooting. This renewed focus on shooting and playmaking netted the Warriors' Buddy Heald and Kyle Anderson. Moreover, they also signed to Anthony Melton to spell Curry and provide some defense on the backcourt. Moreover, in terms of shooting, Heald is a capable replacement for Thompson, and he may even be a better shooter at this stage of their careers. Thompson hasn't defended at a high level since his Achilles and ACL injuries, and the Warriors didn't sign Heald for his defense to begin with. Heald is also a reliable decoy while Stephen Curry navigates through screens to look for an open spot behind the line. The defense will have to pick between Heald and Curry shooting, and most teams will let Heald shoot rather than the greatest three-point shooter of all time. As a sixth man, Heald can also take on a heavier shooting load when Curry sits. However, without Curry, 
Any competent NBA-level defense will load up on him, meaning his teammates like Andrew Wiggins must also shoot more to distribute the workload evenly. This reliance on shooting will also require the Warriors to speed their game up, and they hope Melton, Anderson, and Draymond Green should provide enough defense to get them consistent stops to spark fast breaks. Likewise, they'll have to rely on their center rotation of Tracy Jackson Davis and Kevin Looney to gobble up defensive rebounds and start the offense. LeBron James' blunt response to possibly teaming up with Stephen Curry again. Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James and Golden State Warriors guard Stephen Curry gave basketball fans a tantalizing glimpse of a potential partnership this past summer at the 2024 Paris Olympics. The two longtime rivals, who have faced off in four consecutive NBA finals, joined forces to help Team USA secure its fourth consecutive gold medal. James and Curry, despite their on-court rivalry, previously teamed up during the 2022 NBA All-Star Game. However, their collaboration in Paris marked the first time they played together in a high-stakes, international competition. The pairing left many wondering whether the two future Hall of Famers might ever join forces again. In a recent interview with Dan Woik of the Los Angeles Times, James was asked about the possibility of reuniting with Curry in the near future. His response was characteristically direct, I have no idea, James said. I have no idea. The prospect of the two teaming up during the NBA regular season is unlikely. Curry recently signed a one-year contract extension with the Warriors worth $62.6 million, ensuring he will remain in Golden State through the 2026-27 season. Meanwhile, James is preparing for his unprecedented 22nd NBA season with the Lakers, continuing to defy the limits of longevity in professional basketball. Prior to Tuesday's preseason matchup between the Lakers and Warriors, James reflected on his experience teaming up with Curry in Paris. The two stars were instrumental in leading Team USA to victory, and James shared his excitement about the opportunity to finally play alongside Curry in such a meaningful setting. It was everything and more. I was super excited to be able to finally team up with him in a win-or-die type atmosphere, James said. That's what it was, being a part of the Olympics. It was everything that I dreamed of and aspired to want to be a part of that team, along with Steph. Great memories. Something that I'll remember from my basketball career for the rest of my life, for sure. While the logistics of an NBA team-up between James and Curry remain improbable, their partnership in Paris has undoubtedly left a lasting impression. Both players, who have defined an era of basketball with their remarkable achievements, continue to demonstrate their mutual respect, even as they remain fierce competitors on the court. As the 2024-25 NBA season approaches, fans may not see the two superstars team up again anytime soon, but their time together in Paris will remain a memorable chapter in their storied careers. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of LeBron James? Leave your opinion in the comments.